With the frame completed, I move on to the main parts. These are the stem, the keel, the stern post, the transom and the main station. They are all made from a quarter inch plywood, so a little bit over six millimeters. And the easiest parts, of course, are the keel and the stern post. They are just uh, thin strips of wood. And the only thing I have to make sure is that I cut here at the stern post, at its base, I cut the right angle, which I will lift from the plan later. Uh, the other things, uh, the stem, the main station and the transom, of course, are curved. And I will show you now how I can transfer the lines which I have drawn on the plan onto a piece of plywood. So this is the plan. It's a close-up of the main station. And as you can see here, we have the center line and the curve. I also need the baseline, the water line and the top line of the main station. These are all the lines that I need so that I can cut out the piece and later assemble it. Now the method that I'm using is quite simple. I'm using some baking paper. And of course it needs to be very flat and straightened out. And I weigh it down with some weights. And now I start with the straight lines. So I take a ruler and start with the center line and the top, the water line and the base line. I don't need much from the baseline, just this little piece. Now the tricky one is the curve, of course. So I just try as best as I can to draw the line with short strokes. Sure, this is not going to be perfect. But hey, it's only a model. And there we are. To show you the result, I place a white piece of paper underneath. There you go. And as you can see, my curve didn't turn out as well as it is on the model. Uh, I'm afraid the lead weight was in the way this time. So this part of the curve is not perfect. It's still in place, so I can still uh, fix that. But I don't really have a need for it because the model is already in existence. Now the stem is done exactly the same way. The transom, however, is another story. Now why is that? The answer is that the transom is actually tilted. It's not standing upright as the main station does. So if I check the angle between the baseline and the stern, you will find it's not a right angle. It's actually a hundred degrees. And for that reason, if I were just to copy that line here, I would actually make a mistake. Because this outline here is just a projection. It's not the real physical piece. I have to take into account that this is actually tilted. So have a look at this triangle here. Now, if I tilt this like that, you see as it becomes bigger. But if I lay it down flat, because the camera has an angle on it, the piece appears to be smaller in the height. And that would mean if I cut out the piece, as you can see it here, I would actually be coming short. And in order to avoid that, I have to take this tilt of 10 degrees from the upright into account. Now the truth is, 
10 degrees is not that much and since I'm building a model I can actually neglect it as we are talking about one or two millimeters at best. But what if the angle of the transom would actually be something in the area of 30 or even 40 degrees? Then of course I would use a different method and I want to show this to you right now. Here I have prepared a separate sketch of the transom and the first thing that I need to do is I need to transfer the angle onto that sketch beginning from the bottom. Now let's say the tilt might be 30 degrees. So something like that and I draw this line here. Now wherever one of the horizontal lines crosses the line that I just drew, I have now and a right angle to the blue line to copy all the horizontal lines. So I take the first one. It has a length of, well, almost 9.6 millimeters. So just where the two lines meet, I now draw this line again. There you go. And I continue this process now with all the other lines. So the next one is 9.8 and so on. I finished the drawing of camera and here you can see the result. The new transom has a length in the center line of 11.6 centimeters Whereas the old one, the projected one, has only a length in the center line of 10.2 centimeters. That is a difference of 14 millimeters or more than half of an inch. And that would mean if you uh, make the actual build in a one to one scale that you would fall short roughly six inches or 15 centimeters. So that is really critical. And that is the reason why if you have a bigger tilt than 10 degrees, let's say that you have to use this method in order to get it right.